to make some cars. And then, then we need to bake them. Point it inward towards the thing all the time. It makes it look a lot better. And in the arms, you do the exact same thing. Except for the arms, you're going to point the claws. You use the same structure, but you point the claws like this. You make a curve. There. You don't make the curve all the way down here and then make a bulb instead. And then the tail's just two squiggly lines connected. The head. I prefer to start off with the ear flap things here by making four lines. Then connecting them on each side. And that's how you do that part. Then you make the horn. Connect it. Then you make the frill again. Sometimes I connect it to the horn to make it look like this. Sometimes I don't. And then from here, you go down. And then you make half a jaw. Nostrils. Eyes. And then you make the fire. Color it orange. For the coloration of this, I prefer to use brown and red mix. And it looks really nice put together. And in the background, I like it to look a bit stormy with maybe a flash of lightning in the background. To make it look even cooler. And if you could, draw a human right here to make it look even cooler. The scales on this dragon are gonna be my new type. I'll show you on the back of this how I do it. So I'm just gonna make what, just pretend this is a dragon body. Then I'm gonna put this a little See, you do that. Then you just connect it, doing all of that. Get it connected. And at the end, it should look really cool, like a mass of scales. See? You just connect it using what you already have to do. All you have to do is add the lines and you got it. Just a couple lines more, and you do it. So then you get a mass of scales like this. Depending on how big the dragon is, the smaller it is. Thanks for watching. Best Dragons by Katya, no two.